You watch Intelligent Productions. You're watching Connect Four. Um. Well, I've I have epilepsy. I've had I've had epilepsy since I was um, seventeen, eighteen, about thirty years. How did you find out? Um, I actually wasn't diagnosed till the second seizure I had uh, when I was about seventeen, eighteen years old. Uh, woke up one morning just in a lot of pain, and the first one was in incorrectly diagnosed. The second one, about a few months later, um, they finally they diagnosed it as a seizure. Um, was on Dilantin for many years. What, what is that? It's one of the more common medications for it. It's becoming less common and now as better medications are developed. What did it do? Like what, were the, what was it supposed to do? It's supposed to stop the seizures and it sort of did, but not really. And then around 2000, I was on two medications by this point, I started developing a second kind of seizure um, that called a well, the, the first one's called grand mals, which are the, the more well, the most well-known kinds. I used to with, say grand ma, like, yeah, grand, <laughs> like grand, like your grandma, the grandma, yeah, <laughs> grandma seizures, uh, but grand mal, the, the most well-known kind, um, with the with the, the convulsing. Yeah, uh, but, seen, but there's I had a but, but there's there's see. actually many many different kinds of seizures. Um, Epilepsy.org or uh, CentralFloridaSeizures.org. Um, if you want to get more information, um, around 2000, I started having what's called a simple partial, and this, they affect my ability to speak. I can't I can't speak while I'm having them. I'm still fully lucid, but I just I can't talk. And it was it was good that we found that, that I, it was just good that I started having them. Nobody, pretty much nobody would ever would ever think, oh, it's a good thing that I'm having a second kind of seizure, but. It, it was good because my neurologist figured out, oh, that because it was it, it affected my uh, my speech and also my ability to play guitar. I said, well, I can still I still know exactly what to do with with my left hand, but but I can't strum in correct rhythm anymore. So I'm like I'm like totally what's white. What's happening now. in your brain when? You, well, that... well, well. Let me let me finish this. It, when, he said, oh, well, if 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 you're if if that's what's happening, he said, I know that then that, that the seizures are coming from the left side of your brain because speech is is. Is, is coming from the left side of your brain, and he said, if you can't move, if you can, if you're still good on on the left side of your body, but not the right, said, you know, right side's left side of your body, left side's right side of your body. Mm -hmm. So we were able to locate it, and I've I've done several studies since that that confirm. Um, well, I haven't done the studies; I've just laid there. <laughs> that you know, the the doctors. You've been a part of this the brain part. surgeons. <laughs> you know, the smart people. Yeah. Um, it's no metaphor anymore. It's literally brain surgery. <laughs> um, well, it's not brain surgery. Yes, it is. Um, that confirm in, and even further localize it's the front lower part of my brain where the seizures are coming from. Um, but both, both kinds are coming from the same place. Sorry, I had to finish that thought. Well, what is what is it mechanically like? Is there is there misfirings in the signal? Like wait. that's that's how they describe it. Yeah. yeah. The best way I can describe it is you know the, your body is a machine and your brain is the computer that runs it and it's a glitch. The computer crashes. And so, so mo most people have most people have Macs. You know, I'm I'm just stuck with a PC. So, so is that something you're born with or this does something can, can something bring on bring it on it can, it can it... happen it can happen any way um some people have have childhood epilepsy and then it goes away or they or they might keep it with them their whole lives um some people develop it like i did as a teenager or it, it, it can develop at any point in life it can go away at any point in life um it's been that's really bizarre it's been it we it's been noticed more uh lately that it develops in, in, in older people and senior citizens, but that's where it's most often misdiagnosed because it can incur, it can occur along with other neurological disorders that that can tend to occur, occur later in life, like yeah. you know Alzheimer's or you know name whatever you know, the other things that can typically happen to senior citizens. So getting old sucks, man. Your brain literally shrinks. <laughs> well, and, 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 and getting old sucks, but because people are typically living to be older these days, yeah. Those things also also happen. Yeah, and it's epilepsy is more common than people realize. It it will literally happen to one in twenty six people. Wow. 
See, I, I know people have told me that they've had seizures, but it's only happened once, and I, I always have been curious on that. It's like single seizure will happen to about one or one to ten and eleven people throughout their lifetime. Yeah, it happened to my brother once. Yeah. I, I don't think it was more than once. From all from what I can remember, I've only heard one story. That's, I don't I don't wish it on anybody, but you, you may, we make the best of it. I'm very lucky to be uh, as high functioning of an epileptic as I can, so I, I try to, to do the best I can for other people and uh, encourage them to to live the best life they can, uh, seek better treatment. A lot of people don't seek a lot of people don't seek better treatment. They just they just take the medicine prescribed to them. Science is is always looking for for better treatments. Sometimes you might be taking an, an old medication. Um, Dilantin and phenobarbital are very old, and uh, new medications are coming out all the time. Um, medical marijuana has come has come very far, especially with with CBD oils and CBD THC combinations. And because of you um, guys, I medical marijuana is now legal in the state of Florida. I'm not a doctor. I can't personally prescribe anything, but um, but I can but I can say that it's 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 definitely helped some people with epilepsy. And it's helped you. Oh yeah. How is the dispensary experience in this state? Since we're still relatively new, it's relatively new. They're still working some things out, but it's it's been good so far. Um, they the um, there's different things available for um, in different forms. They have a topical uh, sublingual solution of CBD that, that's available under the tongue. Um, there, uh, particularly for epileptics, there's a nasal CBD that's available as a um, as a seizure rescue medication. So, like, as it's happening, you use that. Yeah. Okay. And of uh, of course the vapes, which are very popular. Well, we've been all around the world with it, so uh, with that said, let's play some Connect Four. Okay.